What's up, bosses? We've got a full load in this week's show. Like, we explain the impact the fires in the western U.S. are having on drivers. We detail all the things the CBSA is looking for during the upcoming inspections. We celebrate a driver who recently got a big surprise. We take you back to Wilkins Chrome Shop for some more awesome custom trucks. And we track the growing outbound tender volumes. Thanks for tuning in for this week's show. Let's get rolling. Our dynamic duo of Matt and Joey are pretty opinionated, but they've got a lot of interesting stories too, especially when it comes to their time with Amazon. Uh, all right, Joey, time for 30 minute break, bro. 30 minute break? For what? We bobtailed this entire load. Yeah, we still gotta take a break though. Maybe you're not understanding me. We just bobtailed 26, 20, 2,600 miles and got paid to do it without a trailer. Yeah, I know. What are you complaining about? That's like found money, you know? All the money we saved on fuel and time. What's the problem? No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about... The, the situation, I'm just like, how does Amazon justify making us bobtail 2,600 miles and paying us $4,400? Aren't they like losing money? I mean, where is the, where is the organization? No, no, that's the wrong question that you're asking right now. That you don't, to, Amazon's like the biggest, probably gajillions of dollars in the in the world right now so i don't raise those questions let's enjoy it while it's good before they start changing stuff yeah well you know they're gonna change it they're gonna find out what's going on they're gonna fix the bugs i mean come on no i don't know i don't know the system is crazy i mean 75 percent of the entire time that we've been doing this amazon stuff We've been hauling empty trailers. I mean, we just got paid $1,900 yesterday to haul an empty trailer 400 and some odd miles. That's like four something a mile with an empty trailer. Right, that's what I'm saying. We, we, I don't understand this, this company. I mean, we're getting paid all this money to do like nothing. It, I'm, I'm just, hey, you know, I'm just not used to it. You know what I mean? All this dropping and hooking, no paperwork, you know, just bobtail to the next location. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not used to this easy of situation. Yeah, like I said, Joey, stop complaining. Enjoy it while it's good because, you know, it's been a messed up year, Joey. It's been a mess. Let's just enjoy what we have. You know, let's just do a woosah. Just do, just do a woosah and calm down. And don't worry about it. No, don't get me wrong. I'm woosah, woosah. I'm, I'm calm. But it's just going to, it's going to suck when they take it away. You know, they're going to figure it out. You know they're going to take it away. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Ah. God. Amazon. Damn it. Oh, you need help, bro. For real. Thanks, you two. Remember, the only place you can find these two knuckleheads are right here on the Truck Boss Show. So don't forget to follow and subscribe. Now, Isela, what do our drivers need to know before the upcoming CVSA inspection? Carlin, the CVSA Brake Safety Week ends tomorrow, and the CVSA's next is moving on to the International Road Check that was originally scheduled for earlier this year in May, but due to the COVID, it had been postponed. It will be happening in the next few weeks, September 9th through the 11th, but the CVSA wants to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row, so they have provided a cheat sheet for you. To check out that sheet, just click that link below. Carlin? Unless you've been living under a rock, you've seen or heard about the fires burning in Northern California and Colorado. The fires in California are extremely destructive. So far, they've killed five people and burned about 500 square miles. 
Thousands have had to be evacuated as resources begin to run thin. Right now, many departments are waiting on assistance from neighboring states. Meanwhile, some highways in Colorado have been closed due to wildfires and smoke. The state's Department of Transportation has listed several closures and detours on their website, so if you're driving through the state, we do have a link in the comments below so you can bookmark it if you plan to make several trips. Now, Isela, what's this about a driver getting a big surprise at a truck stop? Ladies, what if your husband called you and said, let me drive your car, which by the way, it's new. You just bought it about a year ago because my truck needs to go to the shop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd be wondering, has this man lost his mind? Only to find out that he's won the lottery. Timothy Tucker was in North Carolina at a truck stop when he purchased a cash five lottery ticket. Little did he know things were about to change. Timothy won $480,000. He dropped his truck off at the shop and his wife was more than happy to be getting her car paid off. Timothy now says he'll be retiring a little sooner than he originally planned. Well, good for you, Timothy. I hope you enjoy it. When it comes to freight, let the good times roll. Carlin, take it away. Thanks, Isela. Some good news for truckers out there. Outbound tender volume has been consistently climbing the last few weeks. This week, it grew by 7.5% to a new all-time high of 15,329. However, this total does include rejected tenders, so the real volume isn't really that high. However, it's still about 45% higher than 2019 and more than 55% above 2018. On the other side of this coin, tender rejections also remain high at just under 25%, with about one in every four loads being rejected. Now, Isela, what else do we have for him this week? Now we go to one of our unique places here in Oklahoma where you can find the locomotion. A welcome Chrome shop, check it out. Put a little assist motor out here and it's pretty unique it it works really good that that hood runs up and down every day here all day long people come in and want to see it and uh, we go run the hood up and there's no latches on the hood when it bottoms out the cylinders are down they're tight the hood's tight uh, we've never put latches on the hood when it raises up you can't overextend it when it goes to the top, it's as high as it's going to go. In 1969, Peterbilt got a 3408 DI engine in it. We twin turboed it. It's got a six and a four transmission. We extended the hood seven inches. We extended the cab 18 inches. We worked on this truck for nine years building it. Sleeper is 109 inches long. The headliner is lowered about five inches to make that console around on the side like it is. We made all the door panels, the stainless on the doors. We did all the upholstery. We named the truck Locomotion. I just wanted a picture of this truck in the night, coming out of a tunnel somewhere with those big headlights. Perfect, perfect uh, drawing of what I had in my mind. Well, Carlin, one of the things that I like about Wilkins, they have awesome stuff. They're just so creative. So a lot of neat things. The Locomotion has actually been to some of the shows, the truck shows that we've been to, and it's posted and it's won its prizes. It's really neat, especially when you just push a button, the lights flip up and down, just like you guys seen it. So we'll, um, that's one of our favorite places to go to. It is, and we'll be going to them a lot more. In fact, they have an event coming up, right? Yes, the Busted Knuckle, and that's going to be taking place September 18th through the 19th. We don't get to be there, but we do get to do a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff. So yeah, so be sure tuned. to tune in for that because, again, we get the behind-the-scenes look before the show starts, so you'll definitely want to see And it's see a neat place it. to go to. That's you'll right. You'll never get bored. You'll never be bored. We are honestly planning a few more segments because, again, we could spend days there and still not see everything. So you might see Wilkins a little bit more a little bit in the more. future. And we are asking a little bit of you guys. We have a poll on our Facebook page. We want to get to know you guys a little bit better. So go ahead and go to our Facebook page. It's pinned there at the top. Uh, simple, multiple choice poll. All you have to do is select which one you are, and that's it. You're done. Um, just help us out, get to know you guys a little bit better, so that way we can provide better content more geared towards what you guys do. Yes. And for next week, you got to stay tuned because we're going to have Central Tech Part 2 and, of course, an awesome cafe review with our friend Trish. That's right. That Isela, of course, is going to be in charge food. of because she loves food. <laughs> and who doesn't love food? But, hey, anywho, and this week, tomorrow, our extra is actually going to be about the Oklahoma Trucking Association's Banquet where they awarded the Safe Driver Award to several different winners. So be sure to tune in for that because there is quite a list of all those guys who, you know, and all those gals who have been on the road and been safe for 
thousand, ten thousand, a million, um, like a it's a whole miles. lot of miles. Um, so we definitely want to be sure to tune in, for, or you guys definitely want to be able to tune into that because again, it is a pretty awesome opportunity and an awesome award for those uh, drivers who have stayed safe on the road. Yes, thank you for everything that you do. And well, of course, another event that we don't get to go to, but our friend uh, Tony Justice does. He's going to be at the Onaway Speedway that's in right. Michigan, and that's going to be September 4th through the 6th. So you got to check that out. Um, I hate that we have to miss all the fun, but we also got to play it safe here. That's right. And don't worry, Tony has already told us that he will rub it in our face how much he's going mm. to enjoy it while we are stuck here. Yes. So don't worry. <laughs> we already get to hear it enough from him. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, invite your friends and family to like us so we can continue to bring you all this awesome content. Because at the end of the day, why do we do this, Isela? Because you're the boss.